Hi friends, in this video we are uh, solving problems on surface integrals. Okay, this topic is very very important. If you know the surface integral, then only we can do Gauss divergence theorem easily. Right friends, you see the given problem is evaluate double integral over s f bar dot n bar ds where f bar is equal to zi plus xj minus 3y square zk. Okay, and uh, where s is the surface of the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 16 okay included in the first octant z is equal to 0 to and z is equal to 5 z equal to z is from 0 to 5 so here cylinder is nothing but you know the cylinder form and they are given a z is height z is they are given as a height height is nothing but you have to take vertical line so here this is i am considering as a x axis and this is I am considering as y axis. Next, this is I am considering as a z axis. So, you see here, uh, this is circle type and uh, projection of the surface is like this. Okay, now? Now, this is you have x square plus y square is equal to 16. Surface is okay, now? For this surface, what you have to find means? N bar. We need to find out. And what you need to find means? Ds. On the projection of which plane? That is, you need to find out. Okay, now is it clear for everyone? Now you see friends here, first if you want to evaluate f bar dot n bar ds, are they given f bar or not? Check it here. So here you see in the given problem, they are given f bar. Next what you require to find? n bar. n bar for surface x square plus y square is equal to 16. Next ds. ds is nothing but here projection of r on xy plane or yz plane or zx plane. Projection of xy plane, yz plane or Z explain we have to verify. Here you see friends here already which limits they are given? Z limits they are given. Na? So either you have to take YZ or ZX. Either you have to projection on YZ plane or ZX plane we have to do. Okay now. So in this case I am choosing YZ plane. I am choosing YZ plane. So X Y plane you should you should not take here because already they are given limits are limits of what? Z limits they are given. Na? So here DS will be DY dz by mod which is which term is left here dx is missing no? so n bar dot i you read on. that's it now ds is okay now what about the n bar n bar is a normal to the surface of x square x square plus y square is equal to 16 for this you have to find out the normal to the vector how we will find out the normal to the vector in this case here we have uh, del this is a they are given scalar function scalar only no? so what is the n bar in this case I, uh, we, have, we will write to n bar is equal to del pi type that is i into dou pi by dou x is nothing but this is 2x plus j into this is 2y ok now j into 2y that is it this is n bar now mod n bar mod n bar is nothing but under root of i quotient square i quotient square is 2x square is nothing but 4x square 2y square is nothing but 4y square then which is a common here 4 is a common 4 if you written outside then you will get a 2 square root of x square plus y square so 2 times of what you consider x square plus y square as a 16 so 2 root uh, square root of 16 is nothing but what 4 so you will have n bar is equal to 8 then in this case you will have a n bar is equal to normal to the surface is there and uh, mod n bar is there no? so n cap n cap is equal to n bar by mod n bar n bar by mod n bar that is equal to here you see we have uh, n bar is equal to 2xi plus 2yj so 2 i am taking common plus 2yj means uh, 2 i already taken common so 8 this is equal to 1 by 4 times of xi plus yj is which value n cap value so outward draw outward uh, draw normal vector is clearer you see for this surface we already done ds value ds is yz plane and uh, n bar is also we are done okay now what you need to find this surface of the projection of yz plane we have to do that is nothing but we have to convert into yz plane okay now double integral s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to we have you see f bar is nothing but zi plus xj minus 3y square zk dot n bar n bar is 1 by 4 times half xi plus yj dot uh, sorry into ds ds is nothing but dy dz dy dz divided by mod n bar dot i n bar dot i are we are done 
no so you here you find it first n bar dot i is equal to mod of dot i is nothing but here you have x outside by 4 so x to the by x by 4 so this is x by 4 now you have to simplify this friends you see now dot product here you see here 1 by 4 here you have this is 4 getting cancelled now you multiply inside this is dot product of the two vectors we are doing now i dot i is 1 i dot j 0 na. so z into x z x z into here j is then i dot j 0 next x dot x j dot x j is 0 x j dot y j yes you will get here x j dot y j is nothing but x y next k dot i 0 k dot j is 0 na. so no need to write into dy dz divided by x you have this is a double integral. I need to write the double integral. Here also double integral over S. Now double integral over S. From this what you can take common? X you can take common. So X if you take in common. Then Z plus Y dy dz by X. So this X X getting cancelled. Then you will have double integral over S. Z plus Y dy dz. Already you know the limits of Z. What are the limits you have? Z limits 0 to 5. Z is from 0 to 5. Next, two, you need to find out the limits for what? Y. How you will get the Y limits means what they are given a surface here? They are given a surface X square plus Y square is equal to 16. Na? From this, you have to get the values. Okay, na? How you will get Y value means put X is equal to 0. So, Y square is equal to 16. Y is equal to plus or minus 4. But we are taking this is in first act and so Y is from start from 0 to 4 only. So, 0 to 4. So, Z limits we have, Y limits we have, these are, uh, both the limits are here independent. So, this is a double integral of first kind here, okay na. See, in YZ plane, X value is 0. In YZ plane, X value is 0. That you have to remember, the surface value will be 0 in YZ plane. Now, uh, irrespective of integration, you can do now. So, first, Z integration, Z square by 2. Next, uh, integral of 1 is there here, directly I am doing, okay. 1 is nothing but Y, Z limits are 0 to 5. Y limits are 0 to 4 plus Y is there. So, Y square by 2. Now, into 1. 1 means here Z. Limits are 0 to 5. Y limits are 0 to 4. Z limits are 0 to 5. Now, you substitute here 25 by 2 into 4 plus here it is 16 by 2 is nothing but 8 into 5. So, this is 2 1s are 2. 2 2s two are 4. 50 plus this is 8 times of 5. 40 is equal to 90. This is the answer. Is it clear for everyone? Friends, you remember only the thing is to evaluate this one, first to F bar they will give. We have to find out N bar for the given surface, from the given surface. And DS you need to find out. For the XY projection or YZ projection or ZX projection, you have to verify. Projection on XY plane, YZ plane, ZX plane, we have to verify. Then you need to find out the limits. These are the required to evaluate the surface integral. That's it. Okay, thank you for watching this video.